Alright guys, so I went to go see Unfriended, The Dark Web. I went to go see it with my friend who wanted to go see this. Um, on Friday, I was going to go see Equalizer and Mamma Mia too, but I'm, I saw those a different day. Uh, so I just went with something that he wanted to see and then personally, not something I wanted to see. I'll explain in a second. Um, but again, I had movie pass. Um, despite the stupid ass peak pricing thing they have going on right now. Uh, I want to go see it. So first let's get to what the movie generally is about. So in this movie, the main character of this movie finds a laptop and he decides to use it, you know, use it for his own stuff. And he also is Skyping with his friends. Till this hacker basically kind of starts threatening both him and his friends to do certain tasks that have to deal with the dark web. But right away, I like where this movie was going for. Now, I did see the first Unfriended movie. I saw it in theaters. I do not like the first Unfriended movie. I like the way, I like the style that it was kind of sort of filmed because it's not your typical movie where it's just filmed with the camera and your characters are there. And it's not, I can't exactly say it's a found footage movie either. I mean, it kind of is, but through the perspective of a computer. And that's the only thing I liked about the first movie. Other than that, I thought the movie was crap. I didn't. I didn't really care for the first and third movie. I didn't. I didn't think it was a good movie. I didn't, I didn't think it was a good movie. So, um, a few months ago, we found out that they secretly filmed a sequel to Unfriended, and not gonna lie, I thought that's the stupidest thing that you could have probably ever done, especially with a movie like Unfriended, which. Because the reason why I thought it was stupid is because I thought that they were going to do the same exact thing, recycle the same plot from the first movie, and just put it in this movie just with different characters. But no, they did something much better, something that they should have done in the first place with the first movie. And they have to deal with the dark web, you know, the disturbing videos and, you know, disturbing stuff. I thought, I for this movie to do that, I thought that was brilliant. And I didn't even like the trailer to this movie that they showed before Upgrade. I thought that trailer for this movie was terrible. I was not looking forward to this movie. But in reality, Unfriended 2 is miles better than the first movie. It improves so many things that I did not like about the first movie. From um, characters to story to even suspense. And sure, the, predict you know, the movie is still kind of predictable at times. But other than that, everything else is improved from that first movie. First of all, the characters in this movie don't feel like a bunch of bumbling idiots like they did in the first movie. They actually act quick and they actually act smart. And, you know, in a situation like this, because in the first movie, they, they were in a very... I mean, I think that the situation in this movie was a lot worse than it was in the first movie, but they could have easily done anything to end what was going on in the first movie. We're here. They're threatening these people to kill these people, and then it really does put these characters in a really hard situation. So I thought that the characters, I mean, for the most part, they're pretty smart. They do end up doing some dumb stuff here and there, but uh, for the most part, they were actually taking this serious, and they were actually acting upon their actions, and I thought that was fantastic for this movie because, again, I did not feel like that, you know, I didn't feel that in the first movie. I felt like the characters in the first movie were just idiots. And I do prefer the story to this movie more than the first movie, of course, because the first movie, I mean, not saying that this movie isn't all that much of a supernatural movie, because it kind of is, but the first one, they just relied it way too much on that aspect of it being a supernatural horror movie of someone's ghost hunting these people. But here we're dealing with hackers who, in a way, they kind of do come off as supernatural sometimes, but it, it in the end, it makes more sense in this movie than it did in the first movie. There isn't exactly any jump scares in that movie, and I'm actually fine with that. I'm not mad about that. What this movie does instead is that the movie relies on actual real terror of what you are seeing that is happening on screen, and it belts up some real suspense at times, and I thought it really worked 
really good for this movie. And, um, you know, guys, overall, Unfriended to Dark Web uh, is actually a good movie. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just liking this movie just because it does improve upon the first movie. Genuinely, I do think this is a good movie. And it works. This is the biggest surprise of the summer so far. I did not expect to like this movie at all. Um, I'm surprised and I'm glad I saw this movie. I'm glad I gave it a chance. So uh, this is a movie I would recommend on a matinee or on a discount day. And with that being said, I'm going to give Unfriended Dark Web a B. Even if you guys hate the first movie, do give this movie at least one shot. Because, I mean, I'm not just the only one. A lot of my friends actually hate the first movie. And they walked out of this movie really surprised because they ended up liking this movie. So even if you don't like the first movie, give this movie a shot. You will probably enjoy this a lot more than the first movie. But um, yeah, if you guys seen this movie, what did you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.